What's up, everybody? It's me again, and it's time to lean in, bitch. We have a screen full of some of my favorite co-hosts, Chase and Danny. We're here for the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. How's everybody doing? Chase, welcome to this panel. Yes, and you know, I love that theme song, darling, but instead of giving a chart like I gave on Monday, I was giving a little Diana. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I am so happy to be here, honey. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm glad I can tell. Danny, welcome back. Thank you. Glad to be back. Okay. So, of course, like I said, we're here for the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Um, as you, if you did know, Chase is actually on this panel now. Uh, we have to make some substitutes to the casting, honey. But for good reasoning, I know y'all love Chase. I love Chase. Chase brings a good energy, honey. But let's see if she ain't on team like she was on Monday. <laughs> or he. Cause I'm well, I'm not going to be on team. You can say whatever you want to say. Like, I got water today, so I will not be on team. Oh, so you was on Patron. Uh, uh, I was on Don Julio on Monday. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so I'll be on a 9.99 out of 10. Okay. Well, in this episode, uh, you were not here last week, but of course, last week we talked about it, myself, Danny, and Jamie. Oh, Jamie's not here this week. Obviously, he is on vacation and put his feet in the sand with his little friend. Um, but on this episode, we pick up last week where uh, Sutton takes Crystal her coat. Right. And so, of course, you know, they have had many issues. Well, they they have ha have not had many, but their biggest issue came from Sutton being outside of the joke and Crystal kicking her and all this nonsense or whatever. So, in the beginning, I would say, I assume, uh oh I assume <laughs> that they were going patrol. to go into <sighs> what happened with the coat. But they did. I guess they waited. We're going we're gonna to talk about that later. But in the beginning of this episode, everybody's kind of talking about Sutton kind of like acting, acting like, you know, checking on Crystal, seeing if she okay, and just kind of, all, well, no, I'm sorry, not, not really checking on Crystal, but more so worried about how Sutton was feeling. So I guess going into this week, Erica's on Crystal's side. And, you know, one thing about Erica, I will say, child, when she gets to speaking, I cannot stand when she starts speaking because she gets talking about her nose. I was like, <laughs> but how do we feel just starting out about situation between Sutton and um, Crystal. I'll go with you, Chase, because you weren't here last week, and then I'll move to the next topic. Um, uh, I'm, it's draining already. Um, I, it, <laughs> it's draining me already. And everybody who knows me knows that I am hashtag Team Slutton. I must say that Ooh. Sutton has, I'm just saying, I, this is because I wrote for her last season. And I loved what she brought to the show and changed up the dynamic like she did. But I have been thoroughly disappointed with her um, on this particular girl's trip um, and her interaction regarding race. I've been thoroughly disappointed with her. Um, what I will say, though, is it is the classic case of two people wanting to get along. And for some reason, like, they don't know how to, like, the opera hugs, like, you know how you don't know how to really connect with someone? I actually think the ship has already sailed on it, and it's unfortunate. Um, and see, I don't think they both want to get along yeah. anymore. I think Sutton still wants to. I think Crystal does it. Crystal checked out. Um, Sutton still wants to be friendly. Sutton still, you know, wants to try. Crystal, I think, is just saying baby steps and will try just for the sake of saying it, but she doesn't really want to do it. Yeah, last okay. week we, we talked about, like, we kind of did, like, a foreshadowing of how it's going to go. And I feel like either myself or maybe we all felt like Sutton was going to try to apologize or talk to Chris, and Chris is going to be like, girl, I'm good on you. And that's really what happened in this episode. I mean, in so many ways. Like, I, you can, I can already tell Crystal's persona, like, she does not deal with, like, if she feels that, not, I don't think she thinks that she's fake and just crazy, but I think she's just like, I don't bang with this girl. Like, we're not going to be friends. So it's just like, why even, you know what I'm saying, give her the time of day. Obviously, they try to make up on the boat. On the boat, uh, <laughs> Sutton is one of the type of people that, like, I feel like she wants you to cater to her. Like, she's trying to give her a story out. She's like, why are you laughing? It's just like, honestly, Chris was just like, girl, like, I'm not laughing, but I'm not taking it seriously, you know? At least that's what I got from it. I just didn't feel like she was taking us seriously. I don't even think Sutton was taking herself seriously, honestly. It just didn't make sense to me. Um, but go ahead. I see, Daddy, you want to say something? No, I'm just curious to see if Crystal's ever going to have any of this energy towards the other girls. Because right now it seems like Sutton's an easy target for her. That is um, You know, I, I, like Chase, I'm Team Sutton too. I love Sutton. 
Um, and like him, I'm disappointed in her, but I just want to see if she's going to have the same energy towards any of the other girls. You know, I actually think that she will, and that's the most intriguing part. I just think that the Beverly Hills girls have shown us that anybody who is not on in the alliance, per se, they don't, they pick and choose, how can I put it? They know who to come for. So even though Garcelle okay. annoys the crap out of them, I'm trying to tone my language down for Monday. Even though Garcelle <laughs> annoys the crap out of them, they know not to come for her because not only uh, is, she, is she an army, but you know, she got a Navy with her black Twitter and we're going to take them hoes down. I said the H word. We're going to take them helpers down. And uh, so I think that they're going to tread lightly with Crystal too because she's not a punk. This is not a punk. I got that very early from her. Like, she is not a punk. Well, I don't know. We'll get into it later. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, but I don't know. It's too early to call. How about that? It's too early to tell. Okay. So, okay. So, sudden in this episode, she has this roller. I think this is it is hilarious <laughs> to me. Because it's like, what is that? she's, it's, I've never seen such a thing in my life. But it's like, it's supposed to help her anxiety, but she pulls it out every time she's about to cry, which is every fucking scene. And it's getting actually annoying to me. <laughs> like I said, everybody at the lean loves, I think we're all team sudden. Everybody. But at this point, we're slutting. I am, well, you know, all of a sudden, I am no longer a team sudden. <laughs> because she no. is actually working my nerves. It's like, girl, I want to like you, but it's like, what are you doing? You're making us look bad. Um, but Crystal and Garcelle's dip off. And I thought this was interesting because. I mean, realistically, we, there was a kind of an alliance between Garcelle and um, Sutton, and I think it still exists, but I think even Garcelle is kind of side-eyeing her. So she kind of dips off with Crystal and talks to her, and this is the first time Garcelle is uh, privy to the information about the conversation that they had about the mm-hmm. race thing. And Garcelle was even like, no, like, that's not okay. I wish she would have addressed her. Maybe she will, maybe later. But it just seems like Garcelle's focus is just to be mean to Nina. Uh, mean to Lisa. Lisa. To be mean to Lisa. That seems to be her focus. Well deserved. Girl. And I, I'm not saying she oh. don't deserve it, but that seems to okay, be Okay, like, I get y'all that. The only, thing, the only thing she sees is, is Lisa Renna and let's get her back for what she... Because to me, that's also... That's kind of annoying to me, too. But, but, um, but what were y'all but thoughts you know, on... Well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, you know, Garcelle tried taking up her Sutton last episode and tried to defend her, and it kind of blew up on her a little bit, too, where Sutton pushing back on her. So maybe Garcelle's like, I'm just staying out of it from now on. I mean, that's what Jamie said. Jamie was like, you know, she kind of like take she, – she doesn't really get involved unless it really involves her, and this really has nothing to do with her. It's really stupid. But, I mean, I don't know. Go ahead, Jay. See, here's the thing about Garcelle. Garcelle is the definition of a true friend because she recognizes – when you are wrong, she will let you know. Because eventually, she's going to tell Sutton that she was wrong in this. I, I can just feel that. But right. that does not mean that she won't support her and still be her friend. And I think that is what um, lacks amongst women like Lisa Renner, uh, mm-hmm. namely. Like, you know, your friend did something wrong. She lied to the group or whatever. And if you feel like you can't support your friend, that's one thing. But do you have to take her out of the game? You ain't got to take that girl out of the game. And that's what she did with Denise last season. And I don't think that no matter what happens, Garcelle is going to take uh, Sutton out of the game. Even if it gets so bad as to where they won't be friendly anymore, she's not going to try to take her out of the game because she is going to respect that Sutton was the first person on that cast to actually want to even get to know her at all. So I think Mm -hmm. that those type of things register Mm -hmm. with her. I think those type of things are, you know, the indicators of a true friend. And I think that um, she proves that she should be very uh, held as trustworthy amongst a group of women because that takes a special person in a group like this to hold your friend accountable and still support your friend while helping them recognize what they were wrong. Because whether I'm team Slutton or not, Sutton was wrong. She was wrong. Yeah. And if she's going to nail Garcelle to the cross, I'll watch that every episode. I mean, excuse me, Lisa Renner to the cross, I'll watch it every episode because Lisa Renner has been asking for it since season five, and it is about time that somebody has their foot on her neck and is not taking it off. Yeah. I'd rather it be a more direct foot. If it's if she gonna do it, I need her to do it a little more. Like she's doing it, but this is like, 
I don't and I need but it right here. This is run more. Right. I, I, need, mean, I, I need it like to be. Effect. I need it to be like. I mean, it's it's effective, but it's like the type of person Lisa really is. Is she really taking it seriously? I don't think so. Well, she got on. So. She um. And you know, and, and I, and I, go ahead. Go, baby, go, go ahead. ahead. Well, I was gonna say she um she's all out in the press like a sister girl, honey, doing these interviews and what's up with that? Da, 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 da. So it is affecting her. It is working. I want to see her man. not Lisa Renner Black. That's when you know it, it affects Lisa. I feel like Lisa's personality, it's like she just kind of grazes over everything with laughter and dancing, but I want to see her mad will be that Garcelle really got to her. That's what I feel mm-hmm. like. I feel like that's the reunion. I feel like we're going to get at the reunion. I agree. Mm-hmm. Well, She's pissed. Well, yeah, watching it back as we're sitting, if she could, if Garcelle, if Garcelle continues to stick it to it, then yes, she would be. Because that little scene where they was at the pool and she was like, hey, so how about this is the point where you just stop talking? <laughs> and was she was like, drunk. Oh. So she like, she didn't remember that in a moment because she was drunk. Right. I don't, I don't think like that is, I don't think it's, it, it's, it's, it's funny, but Garcelle could do more. But that's not her personality. Um, you know. I want her to be as mad as she was when she was ready to um, throw, uh, choke old girl. What's her name? Kim. That's what I want her to be. That's how you know Lisa was is pissed and she's been well, um, and she's pressed. <laughs> Garcelle just got to say Harry's name and that's a wrap. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, she was. I, yes, don't you ever. Right? Don't you ever. Yeah, she brings up every. <laughs> but nothing's off limits with her, right? So screw her. Yeah. So. <laughs> Between Sutton and Crystal, we'll talk about that again. Sutton kind of basically says that she's been emotionally unstable because she is selling her how dream home, and it's been a lot. And I'm just like bullshit. I hate when these women, you wait a minute. So you think you don't think it's bullshit? I think it's bullshit. So I'm gonna tell you why I don't. I actually okay. Sutton has Sutton has been consistent to where little things, the smallest of things, affect her. So I believe that this actually is a big thing for her and it is affecting her. And I believe, I mean, Garcelle's been saying that something's bothering her. And I, I do believe that it's minor to us, but everything that Sutton has gone through has been minor to us, but she's made a big deal out of it. So it's, it's in line with the way she's acted since she's been on the show. I'm inclined to go with Danny on this one only because of the way that she describes that house when she talks about my Barbie dream house and the da 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 da. And uh, she um, blew up and caused a commotion over being left out of a joke. So if that's yeah. how she acts over a joke, then I am inclined to believe that she is going to do team too much regarding her home. But that's not. We see Sonya break down about it all the time in New York. I don't think it's really an excuse to use. No, I mean, she said it wasn't. She apologized. She said it wasn't an excuse. No, but she, she said she projected. But, you know, but when you say when you say something is not an excuse, but you still use it to justify why you're acting, you're basically it, it, it's no. In my opinion, like even Crystal was like, that's not an excuse. Like you're trying to say, well, I've been emotionally like this because I'm getting her my forever home, and it's just like, I just I, I wasn't buying it. I mean, I, I get what y'all are saying. I, I I do see both sides, but I just I always listen to these housewives when they give their reason. For you're not going things. for. And it's always a moment to where it's like, girl, stop. They really mm-hmm. ever give a good reason to justify their actions. When really it's just, it comes down to, I was just being a damn bitch. Or I was just tripping. That's all it should be, really. It's just so much, to, you know. But for TV, they have to give something. And I feel like she gave something. But I think she was well, telling you, you why she was overly sensitive. Okay. And, uh, you know, Crystal, to me, would not be you know, someone I would use to judge whether or not um, Sutton is doing the most. I think if Sutton breathes, she's going to be like, oh, this bitch. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, she's over her. She's I think over she's her. over her. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. She literally gave her the Phaedra Virginia face when she told her about the house. She was just like... <laughs> 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 like, it was very, like... Yeah, and the same thing I was doing, like, oh, girl, this, I can't blow listen to this. Um... But they have dinner, and which Krista does not show up to dinner. But the conversation is about plastic surgery, and Dorit says she has not had a no job. And I thought it was very shady that they showed Dorit from 1995 to now, and she looked like a whole different person. I mean, you would never <laughs> even think that that was ever mm. Dorit. Well, well, you know, Andy's going to bring it up <laughs> at the reunion. He's going to get her. <laughs> I can't believe they even talked about. It. I feel like the whole cast has gotten some kind of work done. There is, I don't even. Know, it's not. It's not everyone. Even a, it's not, right. That's not even a, a question to ask for this cast. They all got it. 
<laughs> whether it's whether it's in fillers or something, they've all had something done. They've all had. Kathy was like, "Well, I had some stuff done." You know, Kyle started the season with getting something done. So I was gonna say, I was waiting. do <laughs> go ahead. I was gonna say Doogie. Um, Doogie knows. She's been, you know, on this show for years. It's better to just get out ahead of it and just tell everybody she got a nose job as opposed to having a nose job and like acting like nothing happened because that sends social media into her. So I actually I do not like Doogie, but I'm gonna give her, her props on that. I was um glad Brenda stayed quiet for the most part of this one because we all know about them lips. Well see that's the thing. When I first was watching I was looking down and I thought that it was her that spoke. But then it was the re. I was like, I was like okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. They want her because, like, girl, I know she fucking lying. <laughs> That's why I gotta pay attention because I be looking like, like last week when I thought that it was, I thought the was saying something. I'm like, let me make sure I pay attention because I don't want to miss what I, misinterpret what they're saying. And it, it was obviously it was the so I, I, I fixed myself where I went off. <laughs> Doogie, but hold. Oh, you said big. <laughs> I love that. That's, that's uh, been Crystal, the best part of the season. Crystal didn't show up, like we said, and we find out why later. But um, you know, everybody sudden apologizes, basically takes some accountability for how she's been acting. Lisa decides to try to apologize, which is like, oh my god! And she uses this <sighs> rape story, and even when, before they even gave their commentary, I was like, where is she going with this? Because I was trying to be like, where? But then when she said, basically, she was trying to relate it to blindly supporting somebody when they're wrong, it made sense, but it did not correlate to the situation with Denise. Numbers like, Lisa, stop. You basically just gave Garcia more ammunition. Because Garcia <laughs> called it out. <laughs> right. She did. In her little purple blue wig that I don't like. Go ahead, Chase. <laughs> you know, everybody is having, like, she sent social media into her uproar over that confessional look last season. And I was like, I mean, not last season, but last week. And I was like, are we watching the same show? Because that looks a hot silver man. I do you know not what? like it. I said that on this channel and somebody came at me in the comments and said, did I say that because she's black? I said, oh, oh my God. So, <laughs> no, we're no, black. Because we're standing look a because mess. it's ugly. And I, right, I think I, I, like, it. I didn't like I it. Think, I think Erica Jane be looking a mess too. It's not just because she's black. I'm judging <laughs> her. But she be looking a <clears> mess too. So, hey, I'm going to call it. What were you going to say, Danny? And you know, no, you, you know who I don't like, but I like her confessional so far? It is Rena because she finally has a different hairstyle. I hate that little hairstyle. It's so bold. I like it better than the normal the rooster cut she always got. I miss the little Can I speak to your manager? Because you know, her her, her husband looks just alike. Her hair looks just alike if you really put them next to each other. <laughs> yeah, they probably share, she probably share the same wig. I'll be yeah. honest, um, no one's um, confessional standing out to me. Go ahead, Danny. It all but I did season. want to say, um, at the dinner, Sutton's apologies to them came across a little better than hers did to Crystal. Um, everybody seemed to receive it better than Crystal did. Well, I feel like she it came off more genuine and better just because she fixed herself to do it versus feeling pressure to do it. You know, it's, it's that, that's yeah. what I got from it. Like she kind of, kind of how, for example. Lisa tried to beat Garcelle to the punch about apologizing for old girl, you know, mm -hmm. Denise. And so she she felt so good to put it out there to where it was just like, okay, I'm put it out there. I don't know I said, nobody said anything. So I, I feel like if it was Crystal, Crystal is very like she's not dismissive, but she's the type of girl that you really don't want to like get on her nerves because she's gonna hold on to it clearly and she's gonna call bullshit. And that's, that's what I feel. I feel like she calls bullshit. And even though sudden may be whatever, sensitive to houses and stuff like that, I just really feel like she does not see it for her because this is not somebody she bangs with. She ever will want to hang with. Sudden, like you said, sudden will want to hang with her. But I don't think Crystal will ever want to be friends with her like that. They're, now, they are commenting on each other's pictures lately. I have seen that. But um, they were also at it recently on What's Happening Live. Like Watch What Happens Live. Mm -hmm. so, that was amazing, by the way. That was how right. Live. So I don't really know what's the, what they're going to be giving at the reunion, but they are supporting each other in the comments, but they're going to add it on the video. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think um, they're going to get into it definitely at the reunion. Um, Sutton last reunion surprised me because, like, she was able to automatically transport herself back into that dinner table and was telling them helpers to let the mouse go 
And so I was like, okay, Sutton got a little, you know, mm-hmm. a little uptick in her. So she's going to, it's going to be a discussion and it's going to be a heated one. And I don't think it's going to come out good for her. It's just not a good oh, look, no. honestly. For Sutton, no. That racial stuff is going to, it, they're going to nail her to the cross. I'm sorry. There's no way. The best thing she can do is just say, I apologize. I'm learning from Take my it. mistakes. And but she learned. did already. Which she did already on her on her Instagram too, and, and Krista looks at it and said she appreciated it. Anybody but it's not going to be. It was a nice statement. Type, right, it was a nice statement. But anybody can get somebody to write on their page. Um, yeah, we got to see how it's conveyed. Correct. <laughs> I want to see it. Um, so with the, with that being said, like I'm 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 not. Well, I said I'm over her. I'm not over her, but you know she got to. Maybe maybe the ugly leather pants will bring me back. <laughs> oh my god, because that is epic. I'm not giving up on Sutton right now, y'all. I, me you know what I think I think that um, people say things and they do things, and I think that it is okay to learn from yeah. things. That's so true. you know, now before that's once, but now twice. No, ma'am, you got to go. You got to go. So that's how I, I don't even give one, but I like Sutton, so I'm gonna give her one more, and that's about all she got with me. Mm-hmm. And Cortez, you also said it last week. I think it was you or Jamie that Sutton is so concerned with appearances that it's almost, you know, she realizes the cameras are on me. So it's just oh, yeah. like we're almost, there's moments where we're not getting genuine Sutton because she's so concerned with how is this going to play back later. And she loses her, like when she lost herself with the whole race thing, she start, you know, she tries to catch herself later on at times, I notice. Mm-mm. That was cringy. Uh, now, this situation with the coat, right. So that they didn't show us what happened with the coat, and we didn't hear anything about the coat until the end of this episode. And I was I was really, see, I was cow here, like, I was confused, like, what? what? Why, you, why y'all didn't talk about this? Did they talk about it? Did they edit it? But basically, this situation, this is how I know this storyline is going to get on my nerves, because now you got Crystal over here saying that Sutton invaded her and would cross her boundaries, and she came in with her towel, like, oh, oh. Don't come in here. And she said she felt like she insinuated that she was doing something. I am confused. I don't these women are creating a beef over two things. And I, I see it. But I want to hear y'all thoughts on this situation with the coat and her coming into the bathroom and her feeling like her boundaries being, you know, crossed and her, you know, go ahead. Who wanna go first? It's my matter. Because <laughs> I wanna hear okay. It. Okay, Sutton, knock on the door from now on, and Crystal, come get your damn coat. Go ahead, Danny. <laughs> well, I was, I was gonna say again, this is a, a situation where if you want to be picky, Sutton was wrong. Sutton's always talking about manners, this, that, and the third. If you if you knock and somebody don't answer, you don't just walk in. You wait. That's really all I gotta say. I mean, Crystal has a right to. She says she if knows. she didn't want, but she did. But 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 then you want to say come in. That's true. <laughs> um, and you know. She's always talking about manners and everything. Manners is if nobody answers, don't just open it. Um, and you know, Crystal said she was caught off guard and she dropped to the ground. She fell to the ground embarrassed. Um, I feel like she was embarrassed. I can't. I'm curious to know I where can't. they what, what 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 would trigger her like that. Like maybe something happened. I'm not saying it did, but maybe she had cameras in tow. Huh? Maybe she had the camera crew with her. You know? Who? So uh, when Sutton maybe the camera crew was walking behind coat. Sutton. Well, yeah, was, and well, so she it, dropped, you know. Oh. Or maybe she dropped the thinking they man. were right behind her. What I'm saying, I'm yeah. thinking something happened like in her past. That seems like that seems a little deeper to me. Because oh. the way she started crying and stuff like she said that she felt like she was um, that she was seeing the way she was doing something. And I think that's what like, affected her more. But what could she think she'd be doing? Drugs in the bathroom? I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. It was a little. It, it, Tickle I was, it. I, huh? <laughs> Tickling I that cat. Ex, I, I wasn't that's expecting what I thought. that from her. You know, she thought she was playing with herself. <laughs> she was oh, tickling that I, cat, that, baby. She got that no. to, uh, to the trip. <laughs> no, that's what I think. She thinks Sutton was insinuating that she was doing yeah. something sexual, being naked. Um, and you know, again, it's her body. If she felt violated. Something's wrong. It's really I mean, just yeah, yeah. Of course, she's definitely not right. This is a waste for walking in and doing all that, but. I just thought I, I was I wasn't expecting that from her. I'm like, oh, here we got this girl, you know, 20 minutes ago. And it's not to say she's not tough because that doesn't equate to being tough or not. But I wasn't expecting her to get emotional over someone walking in the in the bathroom with her because it's a girl's trip and it's just like, you know, oh my god. I agree. You know, if it was a man or something, but it was just a, who else would it have been? 
Well, that's why I said earlier, I was like, well, the jury's still out. At first, I was going to say she's a tough chick and she's taking it on. But then right. I was quickly reminded about the end of the episode. And I was like, you know what? Actually, yeah, she's not the jury's out. Tough. Honestly, we don't know her that well. We just don't we know don't. her that well yet. I, um, and that's why, like I said, I, I asked at the beginning of like two or three episodes ago when we recapped me and Jamie, I was like, I asked Jamie, Did you, do you think we would like Chris by the end of the season? We both said yes, I think. But we're going to see. I'm going to ask y'all the same. No. At the end of the season, you think you won't? Jerry's, think? Jerry's still. Well, I'm going to be honest. If she continues to go at it with Sutton, I probably won't. Um, well, let's say this. So cause... if you had to answer right now, do you think, and I, you said no, Chase, but Danny, do you think you would like her by the end of the season? Yes or no? No. Okay. So both of y'all say no, and we say me and Jerry. But I'm, but I'm, but I'm yes. open, but I'm open yeah. to having my mind changed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Give Sutton a break. Sheesh. I mean, she doesn't deserve it, but it's like, it's Sutton, you know, like, ugh. No, like, let the, the mouse go. Now. Let, let the, mouse, the go. mouse go. Sutton, that's, this is the reason why Sutton got that peach, okay? So, obviously, holding her hand on that neck got her that peach, because if it, if, if it wasn't for Crystal, we don't know what Sutton would be doing other than crying about not being on Well, the you know, Sutton gets into it with a couple of girls this season, so she earned it anyway. Oh, well, um, she allegedly, Because her, she gets into her and Erica Jane. Girls. But you know what? It seems like Sutton kind of gets a little backbone towards the end. Because to be talking to Erica, Erica's like, oh, what? Oh, what? She didn't cry then. At least we didn't see it. So maybe, you know, this. maybe she toughens up a little bit. <laughs> maybe. I wish somebody would. I really wish somebody would get Erica together. Like, oh, which is okay. all what? Uh, all what? Not. Girl, who you talking to? Because you ain't going to do that. Yeah, we, we got to save this because I've never seen Erica talk to anybody else like that. Oh, she, she has. To, she uh, talked to um, uh, Eileen like that. I was say Eileen. Eileen. I was oh, say I forgot Eileen. about Eileen. Don't you? And that was sad. I did not like it all. Like, son like that. <laughs> I remember Please, that. You better get her together. Yeah, well, she does. The, you know, the girls, they pick and choose. They pick the girls. They want to do it to because they don't do it to the girls. They want to do it to everybody. I'll say that. She did it to Teddy, too. Yeah, she did do it to Teddy. But we don't yeah. like Teddy, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I clapped for that one. <laughs> well, at the final end of this episode, they finally reveal the stuff Ooh. about Erica Jane. She sends out a text. I didn't realize this is on this. Was this on the same day as the election? I didn't know that. I, don't, I mean, I, I didn't think about it. I guess it was. But they did a lot of skipping around of filming because I feel like they stopped filming at one point because the girls, some, some of the girls had caught COVID. But this is now November, right? If it's election day. And so, I don't know. They had... This trip, this is the what, what episode is it? Fourth, fifth? I don't even know what episode. This is fourth, I think. Fourth. fourth. So um they finally revealed the stuff for Erica and she basically put it in the text that she filed for divorce. And I'm like, girl, you couldn't have thought this was gonna be okay. Cause the, you just on a whole trip with these girls and then you can talk about shit. Divorce don't just happen overnight. So uh are y'all ready for this ride of how they finna come down on this girl? Cause that's just probably gonna be more draining than the situation between Crystal and <laughs> What's her name? I was uh, Sutton. I was honestly hoping she wouldn't return this season, so not really. Erica Jane. You don't like Erica Jane? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Girl, She's girl, never really given nothing. us much. You said what? She's never really given us much. Oh, no, I agree. I agree. She has been very... She, especially now that since she's not like the fashion girl that I like, because I feel like Doree is kind of taking over that. It's just like, mm, we don't really have no use for you anymore, girl. No shade. But, Her first season, that, that was the only time I got life. I don't think I got life then, but yeah. <laughs> I did, not really. So, uh, that pretty much concludes the episode. This episode didn't really give a whole lot. You know, I found myself looking around, doing things while it was on just to keep myself you know, attentive in some kind of way. It was but definitely a filler. It was definitely uh, definitely a filler. A lot of scenes they just probably had to keep in because they didn't have much. But did y'all have any other thoughts on the episode? No, me neither. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, with that being said, <laughs> we are definitely going to leave now because we have discovered uh, discovered we have <laughs> discussed everything in this episode. Um, so we'll be here next week. Hopefully we'll have a full panel next week. What's next week? Next Wednesday? Yeah. Hopefully we'll have a full panel next week if Jamie is yeah. back in his vacation or whatever the hell he on. And hopefully we we'll get some good tea or something to talk about now that the stuff is out with Erica Jane 
and her uh, husband. All right, Shaw, honey, we see it. Not okay. Right. We'll you see, see you next week, week darling. <laughs> 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 we will see y'all next week. Until then, um, like I said, like, subscribe, comment, all things to lean. You can find Chase, Danny, myself, and Jamie on IG at the names below. Or you can find Jamie on previous videos. But other than that, we'll talk to y'all later, and uh, y'all have a good night. Bye-bye.